Good morning. Good morning. It is another chilly, brisk, drizzly day. I am glad we were done with all the solar panels on the roof because it is windy and just raw today. So we need to move inside and get this finish prepped for insulating. The, we're going to be insulating this in the next video. So we got to make sure that everything is ready for that phase. So we got a lot of different things we got to do to get this prepped. We got to move some things out. We got to do some different things. So I think we're just going to start doing it so we can get it done. You ready? We always got something going on. We sure do. If you guys missed the last video, we've been working on installing our solar components on the roof. We still need to put some more solar panels up. We're going to do it on that side of the wall. We have one broken panel that unfortunately came. We didn't realize it until we had opened up the pallet and the box wasn't damaged, but it looks like somebody got mad and did like a Hulk punch right to the panel. So we're waiting for that and we need a few more feet to mount our other solar racking over here outside. So that part is on hold, but we need to get, like I said, prepped and ready for insulation. So we got to clean up our mess and get everything organized. But the good thing about it is once all the insulating is done, we can come in here and start working in here and using it. And we don't have to worry about keep moving everything in and out, in and out. So that is exciting because having it insulated, is going to be nice. We'll still have to run our wires and do interior walls. So if we gotta move stuff off the walls, that'll be fine because we can just kind of like move it back and forth. But we won't have to move everything outside because for the insulating, everything's gotta be out and the shop is gotta be cleared, unfortunately. So we went ahead and we rock swilled all of the soffits, got that done. We filled in all of the lower little cracks with rock swill insulation. I pre-drilled this header. I need to do the same thing to this one and we just gotta stop picking up and organizing, so nothing to it but to do it. I have to move the pallet jack out of the way. Al is testing me, see if I'm strong enough to lift these panels up. We only reported one being broken, so it's all on me. That's right. <laughs> Undo one corner and then, okay. What is your so plan put though? it over this way, stand it up, set it down, yeah. Put it. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to the ground. No, we're just gonna flop it over. I thought you were fixing yourself to the Sorry, ground. Ready? Anyway. Yep. Put that end in. Yep. That was easy. It. See, it's not broken. Now the question is. What's the question? I'll wait till you're done. Uh, wait till I'm done making noise. That's kind of a pain in the butt. How they have that pallet? Yeah, can it'll make it so you can center. How about this way? That'll be too long. The question is, do you really need to move those or are you just like playing with the pallet jack? No, we need to move them. I gotta put them outside. I know. So besides wanting to get the insulation done so we can have it warmer in here, we also want to get it done now because the more and more stuff we put in here, the more stuff we're going to have to move around. And can you just imagine after a f even a few months how much stuff that we're going to have in here and even if you bring toolboxes and all that and have to get it out to get the insulation done, that would just not be fun. And so we're just going to just do it, get it done, and just we can move on from that. It'll be good. Did you get mad and Hulk punch this one? Is that what mm. happened? Not that I remember. It looks like a rock hit it. Mm. Or someone I shot wasn't it. mowing with that on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? If that's what you were insinuating. I, that actually hadn't even crossed my mind. <laughs> but the, now that you mention it. The way you said it, I thought it might have. I'm not going to make fun of him about breaking the window because I don't want to do it. And if I do, I don't want him making fun of me, so. 
Ouch. <laughs> uh, right in the eyeball. But it almost went right past your glasses. Yeah, like went up under my glasses. Oh. Got it. That should hold it. Do you have plans for all that? Yeah, we gotta insulate our cold room. Okay. Wall, wall, ceiling. And then this wall still needs to get insulated. What are you doing? You think we're doing something fun so you had to come down? Thank you Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. I love Blue Land because it's clean ingredients and I don't have to keep buying those plastic bottles that I have to keep throwing away. It's so easy to use. I just open my container, fill it up with water, and throw in a tablet. I just love how easy this hand soap is and it smells great too. I love how Blue Land's products come packaged. There is no single use plastic and even the packaging that it comes in is compostable. I don't like to use harmful ingredients and I love how this comes. It's clean ingredients, I just pop it in my dishwasher and I feel great using them in my household. If you would like to try Blue Land, click the link in our video description below to save 15% off your first kit. Thank you Blue Land for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the project. When those two little plastic pieces fell off, I'm like, oh my gosh. But it was just those little the, corners. The packing things. And I'm like, I didn't know. I just felt like something was crashing down. You were scared. Yeah, I got a little bit on edge for a second. Playing with a pallet jack again. That's right. It 
Was it heavy? A little bit. Good workout. It would've been real nice if you would've put a roof on that barn. Yeesh. Some point. I'm not helping you. That's gonna be an easy roof to walk on. Anything that's high is not easy for me. Oh. Figaro, he's gonna start the tractor. You're gonna end up leaving. You do know what people are saying to you right now. What's that? That you shouldn't be driving up on that lip of that. Oh, yeah, I know. We because you need, to, you need to get that, you know, leveled out. We will at some point. Sheesh. Oh, What's man. that? You broke something? No, it's a pin. I don't even know what it's, the purpose of it is. Maybe it's just for shipping. I bet you that is. I bet you it's just for shipping. Because it keeps popping out? Because it keeps popping out and there's nothing to hold it in. And I don't see why we need it. So I'll keep it in my back pocket for now. Who needs CrossFit? Is it hard to pump that? No, it's just pulling this back. Oh, you, you should let me do it. You want to try to pull it? Yeah. See what you can do. Okay. Hold on, I gotta go backwards. <laughs> oh, I can't get grip. I make I it look too easy, it? don't I? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't even wiggle it. <laughs> I told you it's a good workout. Wait, did you just take some break off? No, I just made it so I can pull the handle down. Oh. You just do it like it's nothing. <clears throat> well, you do put a little struggle in this one. I'll add some sound effects, it makes you feel better. Oh. you what we're really gonna test out this finish on the floor because the forks hit it and anything else we might do we're gonna test it out and see if it's durable so if you're thinking about doing it just keep watching and see what happens it's like I'm cross-country skiing practicing
This should be interesting. Oh. Oh. You're gonna lift the lift? Yep. You're gonna lift up the pallet jack with the pallet four. I can move it now. <clears throat> That's gonna like be the perfect size. It is. It's for an IBC tote. Unfortunately, I only have one. If I had two, we'd be styling. How'd we do? Well, I don't know. Is that a good or? I don't know if that was a meow of approval or a meow of disappointment. <laughs> what do you think? You don't know? This insulation gets all over everything. So one of the things I want to do is I got Gina's disposable shower caps and I want to put a shower cap over every one of our lights. So that way we can keep the lights in here and we can have lights while we're working. So I think that'll work out perfect. And then we're all done, just rip these off, throw these away, and our lights will be perfect. And then we can still see while we're working. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but we're gonna find out. All right, even for this one, so that way we can leave it in here if we need to and have temporary lights. And it's already covered. And then one for me. Actually, that'll help keep the heat in. It's cold out here. One for you. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Take this one off and I'll just wear my hood because you're too noisy. Oh, just enough room. Watch your fingers. Yeekers. Oh, yes.
I'm thinking these rain caps were a great idea. I guess we'll find out, but I think it's gonna be nice to be able to have the lights on without them getting covered. We're gonna find out. All right, definitely one of my least favorite parts of prepping right now is putting all these holes in. I don't like having to do it and it's not fun, but it's gotta get done. I decided I needed my handle. This will work a lot better. I should have found my handlebar sooner. Makes it so much better. Should be the last five holes. This will actually make it stronger. Right here, I can't screw holes because we have some two by eights. So we can screw all these two by sixes and two by eights together. They're headers, but they're not really a supporting header. Header, and so we can have a place to bolt everything. It looks like terrible Swiss cheese right now, but once we get done, it'll be a lot stronger and it'll make a lot more sense. There we go. That part's done. That feels good. I didn't like doing that, that's for sure. Not a fun process. So I don't know what Gina put in my coffee this morning, but I feel good, but my voice is terrible, so. Yeah, well, if you stop yelling at me all the time, <laughs> then maybe it wouldn't sound like that. If I didn't have to yell at you, <laughs> I have no idea what happened. My voice, I feel good, but my voice is shot, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, I leave him for two minutes and he makes another mess and I gotta pick it up. And I think you used my hair nets. I did use your hair nets. And look, open the bucket. What is in there? Open the bucket. Is there something gonna jump out? I don't think so. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that oh, was man. all the mess that I had on the ground that I already picked up. Oh, good job. What See? happened here? My bucket was full. <laughs> so we are this close to being ready for insulation. We have a few more things we gotta do, go around and clean up, pick up. Gina's hair nets worked out perfect for covering up all the lights. And then we'll be ready for insulating. That's how you do that. Yeah, you just take this and you go. Huh. Never knew how it worked. Now I do, I'll have to forget. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to blow all of the dust off the walls so that when we go to insulate, that dust isn't blown back at us. In case anybody is wondering, I have never used the leaf blower in the house to clean the house like I had talked about. Although I'd really like to, 
I feel like with the pet hair, fur, it's probably just gonna be a big, huge mess because it's not heavy like dirt. So it'd be it's stuck on the ceiling. Fly <laughs> everywhere and just be a hot mess. I would love to just open the garage door and blow everything out. I think this will get its work out, out here. We'll be using it quite a bit to clean the workshop. Yes. Also, I think if I did it in the house, I'd probably not move your truck, and then I would sandblast your truck with dirt and <laughs> fur. It would be the fur mobile. All right, I think we're ready for them. I gotta go get the mat. I have such a love-hate relationship with these mats. They weigh so much. They're not fun moving. I have to get in there with a pressure washer. We gotta get a pressure washer first. Until next year. Time to start picking up and getting the chicken tractors put away for the winter because we won't be using these again until springtime. This fuel tank comes in so handy. One of the best things we've got, that's for sure. All right, time to go park this for the season, unless Gina decides she needs any some more farm animals this year. You want another cow? You want another cow? We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. There it sits till next spring, most likely. Unless Gina's got other ideas. We'll find out, I guess. This time of the year, there's always so many things to do to get ready for winter. And then we have a lot of projects we're trying to get done, too. So it's definitely been busy this season.